So the central limit theorem, before we, we prove the central limit theorem, uh, there's some other theorems, lemmas, uh, we, we need to construct. Uh, so the first one we want to, we want to see is that the, the remainder term of the e to the power i x uh, is actually less than or equal to a minimum, minimum of two terms the first term here and the second term here. So this sign here means minimum. So taking which one is smaller. So we want to prove this one. Uh, so let's look at the remainder term of e to the power ix. So, we, so if you look at this, in, this integral here, uh, of integrating from 0 to x, uh, x minus s uh, to the power n, eis, we, if we integrate by parts, we will get this one. Uh, and so and we re if we replace n by, by n minus 1, uh, we get this one. Uh, it's basically the same, same thing, same thing here. But if we re rearrange a little bit, uh, re so this this term remember you see this is the same as that we have another representation of this integral uh, in another way so that will give us uh, this integral minus x to the power n divided by n and which is actually a, an integral from 0 to x uh, of x minus s to the power n minus 1 to uh, leave it to you guys to verify that. And that would just be integral from 0 to x, there's a typo here, uh, of x minus s to the power n minus 1 uh, times uh, e to the power ix minus 1 ds. So we call this equation 2 here, this equation 1. Uh, then if so if we let n to be 0 in 1, let n to be 0 in 1, what we get is an integral of e to the power i s ds is this one. And rearranging that a little bit, we get uh, e to the power x is, which is you know, our Taylor theorem with its remainder term, where will be 1 plus i x, uh, plus i to the power 2 times uh, integral here. So that's coming from this one. And if we iterate, if we iterate n uh, using 1, we'll get a formula for, uh, for e to the power ix, the Taylor, the Taylor series with a remainder term uh, and if we so the remainder term, if we look at the remainder term, one this one divided by the previous terms, will be less than or equal to what? It will be less than so this is one. This is not changed. Take the absolute value into the integral, and this is just one when taking absolute value modulus on that, uh, and that will just be. Uh, taking the you know, solving the integral here, which gives us uh, absolute value of x to the power n plus one divided by n plus one uh, exclamation mark uh, permutation. Uh, and so, so this gives us the first term of our what we want to what we are looking for, and what we need to find the second term. So for the second term, um, so if we replace the, so if we replace the right hand side of three uh, with two, two is this one. So this is another inter uh, representation of the, this integral. So if we replace that with, with equation two, uh, we will get we will get this form, and um, 
So let's say this is equation five. Then since this one is, is less than or equal to two, right? The absolute value of that is less than or equal to absolute value of that plus absolute value of one. So that's the absolute value of two. Uh, then the remainder term here, if we find the remainder term again, we will find that this is less than or equal to two divided by n minus one permutation. Uh, uh, integral of 0 to the power x ab absolute value of this term solving uh, solving this equation uh, gives us, give us uh, the second term so that gives us that the remainder term uh, will be less than or equal to this and this, so it must be less than or equal to the minimum of these two terms. And you see that we'll use that in, in the proof of of, <coughs> of the central uh, the, the, the following theorems. The next thing the next theorem we I want to prove is is the characteristic, characteristic function uh, differenti differentiating the construction characteristic function. When can we differentiate? How many times we can differentiate a characteristic function? And this theorem tells us that if if the uh, nth moment is finite, the nth moment, nth moment of uh, is finite, then the characteristic, characteristic function phi uh, <coughs> has a continuous derivative of all the n. So we can we can differentiate n times, uh, and and it's continuous. So we'll so the proof uh, will be by induction. Uh, so we first prove that when n is equal to one, uh, so differentiating that's you know by definition, uh, that's that's differentiation definition of differentiate differentiating. And let h to go to zero, right? So, and the minus if you minus that uh, minus the uh, the term for expected value i x times e to the power i t x. Uh, rearranging rearranging a little bit, we get e to the power i x. Uh, So we take the integral out, uh, and uh, that will be so that will be this term. So um, so the the integral on the right hand side uh, is bounded uh, because that is bounded by. It, so this is one, and so it's bounded by expected value, absolute value of this term. But this is just, you know, this is, right, this is what we have shown in the lemma. This has a minimum of two terms, and that is the minimum of um, these two terms. Well, we, we have h here, so yeah, so this is uh, so this has this is less than or equal to the minimum of these two terms, so that will be less than or equal to to this, right? Uh, the last inequality uh, is bounded uh, by expanded over two x, right? So so this is less than or equal to this times one of h, h is cancel out of uh, so two is gone, so it will just be two x, two x value, two times absolute value of x. Take expected value, and by assumption we know that uh, the first moment, the first moment is finite. Uh, therefore, this one will go to zero uh, because because of the other term here 
So this will go to, so h cancel uh, one, we have only another one h at, at the numerator side, and when h goes to zero, the expected value will go to zero. So that proves uh, the case for one n equals to one, and we're gonna need to uh, iterate uh, until n, and that is uh, now hard to do. So that's that's the uh, this theorem. And the next one is. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna write the characteristic because it's differentiable uh, n times. Then we can use the Taylor theorem to expand it. So the the the, the expand the characteristic function, uh, and the remainder term is uh, has a small a little o. Of t to the power two, uh, where the little o divided by t to the power two will go to zero as t goes to zero. So that's another thing we want to prove. Um, so given that we have finite second moment, we can the 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 Cauchy function can be written as this one plus a little o term, which will go to zero faster than t to the power 2. Uh, so by the theorem above we we prove here by the theorem above here we know that uh, phi is twice differentiable uh, so the Taylor theory applies and by the lemma above we know that the remainder term is bounded and goes to 0 as t goes to 0 so if we take the absolute value of phi minus the fixed term here, which will remain, which we have, which is the remainder term, will be less than equal to. It will be less than equal to this. Uh, so that proof, uh, and this one is. Uh, so when t goes to zero. Uh, this remainder term, this one will go to zero, faster than t to the power two, because this expected value will go to zero. So if we divide this one by t to the power two, this one we also go the expected value goes to zero. So this is uh, an order of t to the power two. Uh, now with all those things ready we are ready to prove the central limit theorem. Um, so let x1, x2, and so on be rid with common mean and variance mu and sigma square. Let sm be the summation of those of n uh, random variables and x bar be the mean of those n random variables. Then the sample mean minus mu divided by the standard variance, which is the same as Sn divided by uh, Sn minus n mu divided by sigma square times square root of n, will converge in distribution to the standard normal distribution. So let's prove that. Uh, first, we want to simplify that. Uh, we can define another run of our yi, which is have a mean zero by taking mu out of xi. If we if we can prove that yi converts to standard normal, then then we are we are done. Uh, so remember the phi yi, which is expected value of e to the power i t y y one. They are i d. So I just use one here, uh, which is by the previous theorem, which is just one minus, so it has mean zero. So the second term here goes uh, is zero, and that will just be uh, sigma squared times t, t squared divided by two. Uh, 
the t square comes from the expandable of, expandable of uh, y1 to the power 2 and plus the the remainder term which is as uh, order uh, of t to the power 2 uh, then by doing so we can uh, write down the Cavitis function of Sn divided by S uh, divided by sigma squared times uh, times square root of n which is just because yi are all id which will just be uh, the product of each uh, Cavitis function of yi and they are all id so that's just be a, a, a product of its 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 term uh, it's uh, Taylor expansion where the remainder term will is has order of n minus n to the power n to the uh, n inverse one, which is now t squared because we what we are what we are doing here is we want to go when n goes to uh, when n goes to infinity, uh, the remainder term is actually goes to zero. Um, this can be easily seen uh, if we look at the the first lemma we we uh, we prove we prove here. So just just uh, try that yourself. And so by doing that, we we have this this term, and this is just you know when we take the limit when n goes to Remember this 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 term here. Uh, this little o it goes faster than n to zero. So, um, so when we divide by this, so when we divide the little o term by n to the inverse, which is just times n, will goes to zero. So this will goes to. Uh, so this whole term will goes to the exponential function of minus e to the power minus t squared divided by two, which is just the same as the characteristic function of the standard normal, and that finish the proof of the central limit theorem. And that's it. Hope you like it, everyone. Bye.